Aloha from Hawaii. Just spent a week on the big island of Hawaii. Or not a week, we were only here for four nights. Four nights. Not a very long time. Um, what was your favorite part of the trip? Oh, the manta rays. Manta rays? Swimming with the manta rays at night. That was pretty cool. And golf. <laughs> golf. I don't know, the volcano, Kilauea was, cool. was amazing. Just a cool short trip yeah. overall. And just hanging out like this. The big island's pretty cool. It's amazing. I'm, I haven't been here in 25 years, but definitely rekindled my love for it. So check it out. We've got a little video for you with all our favorite points of the trip. And we hope you enjoy it. Aloha. After almost 10 hours of traveling, we made it to our condo in Baikaloa Village just in time to enjoy sunset. Aloha. Where are we going? Been driving for two hours. Got up at 4.30 this morning. <laughs> Been on the road, yeah. Since five, and we are going to Kilauea. Hopefully, we'll see some lava. It smells like there's some. What's a Kilauea? Kilauea is the volcano. And what we're driving through right now is what you call VOG, which is when you get volcanic activity mixed with a certain atmospheric conditions, it produces not fog, but fog. We're gonna go see some liquid hot magma. What did you think of Kilauea? It was worth the drive. Getting up early, we got to see a volcano. It was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then, now we get to drive around Hawaii, which is going to be cool too, right? Always. And it's only 7.15 in the morning. Go get some Kona coffee. Hot malasadas. But first, we made a stop at Lapahoehoe Point Beach Park to take in some of the views of the incredible surf on the northeast shore. We didn't know it at the time, but this point actually has an unfortunate past and was hit with a giant tsunami in 1946, where it took out the village of almost 2,000 residents that were living there at the time. Heading back to our condo, we had to stop for what are known as the best hot malasadas on the Big Island. Brian's first hot malasada. It's hot! <laughs> it's cool. Is that the raspberry one? Mm hmm. We got a raspberry. We got wow. a lily koi, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then some plain ones to bring back to the fam. Messy goodness. Hmm. Hmm.
After our day playing in the waves and snorkeling, we were headed out for a nighttime snorkel adventure with the manta rays. This has been on my bucket list for years and it did not disappoint. We went with Coral Reef Snorkel Adventures out of Kona. They only take six, six passengers on each tour, so it feels like a much more intimate experience and our guide and captain were awesome. We headed out at twilight to an area where the manta rays are known to gather at night. This area is close to the airport and they found out years ago that the mantas were attracted to the area because of the plankton the airport lights attracted, which is the manta's food source. Once we got to our spot, our guide hunter put our manta ray buffet, as he called it, in the water. It was a paddle board with ropes attached to the sides for you to hold on to and then lights affixed to the bottom to attract the plankton that would then attract the manta rays and bait fish alike. Hunter pulled us into a few different places and we weren't seeing any rays at first. And then, out of nowhere, when the sun dipped well below the horizon, they appeared for a show I will never forget. They swoop up from the bottom of the sea with mouths open wide to collect their dinner. They were within an inch or so, and there were a couple of times I thought they might accidentally swallow my GoPro. It was so incredibly spellbinding. Some really cool facts that we learned about the mantas is they can grow to have a 17 foot wingspan. They can live to be 50 to 70 years old and they can swim faster than sharks. They are also not a food source for sharks because they have very little fat and are mostly made of muscle. So our guide hunter assured us that there were a, there was a very, very, very small chance we would see sharks in this area at night. But he did tell us on the way back that the highest concentration of tiger sharks was just around the corner. Nothing like swimming in 60 feet of water at night to make you think about sharks. Thanks for the heads up, Hunter. The next morning, we were on a boat looking for some humpbacks. While I didn't get any of them breaching, we were lucky enough to see several with their calves in the area. After a morning of whale watching, it was time to play some golf at Waikoloa. Some of us did better than others, and I'll leave it at that. 
Our trip was coming to an end and we couldn't let the last sunset go by without floating in the ocean to soak it all in. watching this video and our trip to the big island if you liked this make sure to hit the subscribe button it really helps us out and like this video for more adventure out there take care aloha